Welcome to Half Pint Cooking. Today, what are we gonna make? Uh, jello. We're gonna make some jello, and these are really easy, and we're gonna put them in these little cups because it's great for little snacks. So I like to keep these little things in the fridge, and when the kids come home from school, what do you do? We eat it. We eat jello, because it's just a little snack, and they want a little bit something sweet. So we usually do this size, but then I just found these cool cups that are this size. These are five and a half ounces, and these are two ounces. To get started, um, we have, we're actually gonna mix these two kind, peach and raspberry. They're really good together. That's one of my favorites. On the back, in the directions, it says, do you wanna read it? Um, one cup boiling of boil, boiling water, one cup of cold water. Add boiling water to gelatin mix. Gelatin mix, stir two minutes until completely dissolved. Okay, so first of all it says, Boiling water, so what's one of the first things we need to do? Boiling. Let's hurry up and boil some water, and while the water's boiling, we're gonna read the rest of the instructions. We're gonna put it in our pot and we're gonna boil it. If you want, you can just microwave the water until it's really hot, but we're just gonna do it on the stove. You can do whatever you want. So if we put cold water into our pot to boil, it's gonna take longer because it's already cold water, but if we, already put, if we put hot water in it already, then it doesn't take as long to boil. We're gonna pour it in and we're gonna boil it. Okay, let's finish reading the instructions. Stir in cold water. Refrigerate four hours or until firm. Makes four um, servings. Okay, so it says it makes four servings, but those are half cup servings. These are a lot smaller, so it's gonna make a lot more than that. So, and it says to stir in cold water, a trick that I've done my whole life. Instead of putting cold water in, you just put ice cubes in after it's all dissolved and then it lets the jello set in a little bit better. And it's a little thicker, it's not like that runny jello, but it's not quite as hard and sticky as jigglers, but it's a little bit harder than if you add all that water. Okay, should we open them? You open the peach, I'll open the raspberry. And now we just wait for our water to boil. I hear our water boiling, I think it's done. Do you want to get it or do you want me to get it? Get it. It was boiling, it's steaming hot, so it's even still boiling a little bit. Okay, yeah. we're gonna pour it in. Whoa. Yeah, it's always a good idea to pour it away from you, so in case it splashes up, it's gonna splash into the pan instead of on you, huh? Now it says to stir until it's all dissolved. It takes a little while for that sugar to dissolve into that hot water. We don't want it to be grainy, and that's why sometimes Jello is grainy if you don't stir it enough before you put the cold water in. Okay, can you see in there? There's like patches of sugar still. Okay, you can see on the side how there's still like specks and stuff. There's still dots. Keep going and I'm gonna get some ice. And I'm just gonna put it back in this measuring cup that we were using. Okay, I think it's all dissolved now and we're gonna put our ice cubes in again away from you so it doesn't splash up. All right, stir it in. Okay, before the bowl was really hot, now it's starting to cool down, that's how I can tell, and it starts to thicken up a little bit too. You can wait until they all dissolve, but if you think that they're not gonna dissolve, oh, it's got, I thought it got cold all of a sudden then you can take those ice cubes out. And I used, I love to like suck on them because they have the jello flavor a little bit. Yeah, crazy, huh? So if you wanted to make these into jigglers, then just read the instructions on the package for jigglers. And they're still really good in here. It's just a little bit thicker. You can also put them in a pan, near a, even in this bowl. If you wanted to serve it up in a certain bowl, you don't need to have these little cups. It's just kind of fun. Okay. Do you think they're gonna keep melting? I don't know, that water feels pretty cold. The bowl feels cold really now. Cool. Okay, so we can spoon these out. We'll just put them in our bowl here. Okay, do you want to start, use this ladle, this is a ladle. You can use a smaller one, a bigger one, just whatever you have. I love this one because it's nice and small. It's called a ladle? It's cute, yep. Perfect. I'm gonna get a sheet pan and we're gonna put them all in the sheet pan so we only have to move one big thing over to the fridge instead of a lot of little things. But I do have these lids, that's why I really, really like these. These are actually really good for school lunches too. 
just don't forget to pack a spoon. And because we put the ice in them, they won't take quite as long. It says four hours on the package, but it's only gonna take maybe an hour. Wow. Yeah. Right, we just saved all that time. Okay, so we got all of our cups filled. And now we're gonna put them in the fridge and let them harden up for maybe 30 minutes to an hour, and then they'll be ready. And while it sets up, don't forget, what are we gonna do? Clean up. Clean up our mess, exactly. All right, cleaned up and now we just wait. These have been in the fridge. You can see they're a little jiggly and they're set up. Ooh, that's kind of fun to play with, huh? Now. What makes these really fun is you guys can put a dollop of cream on top of them. Yes, that's my kid's favorite. So you gotta shake it first, take the lid off. Jules already called the big one. She wanted the big one. Okay, go ahead and put a squirt on of cream. And just like a little bit of cream. There's your spoon. So if you take these for school lunch, you probably can't put the cream on, but it's kind of a fun after school snack if you have cream. If not, they're still good without it. Ready? Mm. Do you like that raspberry and peach together? Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty good. If you don't have raspberry and peach, you can do whatever flavor you want. You can combine whatever flavors you want. Kind of just experiment in the kitchen and it's a lot of fun. Thanks for watching another episode of Half Pint Cooking. Don't forget to sh share and subscribe. Thanks. Bye. Can you make a design out of it? In it? Yeah, make it all straight. There we go.